everybody! Today I'm so excited to bring you um, an unboxing from Hotel Transylvania. This is the limited edition Mavis Bats Out. And um, it says it's um, from Trans Hotel Transylvania 3 and for ages 5 plus. Um, it's by Jazzwares. They don't re aren't really known for their fashion dolls, so it piqued my interest from the beginning. I do have the other two versions of her. I will link um, my videos for them below. Um, so this is Mavis Bats Out. Let's see on the back here. It says, Hotel Transylvania, Mavis Bats Out. Always cool and op optimistic, Mavis can do it all. Including being Daddy's Little Bats. So there's her and her daddy. And there's her as a bat, I guess. And then these are the other two that we have already up uh, reviews for them as well. So there was three dolls total in this. Um, oh no, that's just the two of them. The other the other one that I already did a review for was an Amazon exclusive, I think. But this one wasn't. But I did end up getting this one from Amazon. And the box is pretty bashed up. Um, I like that the boxes have like a almost a tombstone look to them. So it's pretty cool. Um, let's see. So there's some more box art from the movie on each side. And we're going to go ahead and get her opened up, I guess. I'm pretty excited for her. This is one of the ones I really, really wanted. So here she is out of her box. She's got gorgeous, gorgeous blue eyes. And she's got um, the Widow's Peak hairstyle. Um, and then she's wearing bat ears. It's kind of They're kind of set up as a um, headband. So those are her bat ears. They are black with red painting inside. And if you can see, there's sparkles also inside there. Um, her hair is really soft. It does have a little bit of product in it to keep its shape. She has dark red lipstick, and if you look really, really closely, you can see her vampire teeth. Because she is a vampire's daughter. Um, her outfit is really, really soft. It's a soft fabric. I don't know what kind of fabric it is. If it's just a soft cotton, I'm not sure. But uh, it's, a bl it's a black dress that's sort of... Go it's a thigh high, I guess. It goes down to her thighs. And then she has um, short sleeves on the dress. And then... Underneath it, she's got some mesh um, fingerless gloves, I guess you want to call them, that go over her thumbs. And then she's wearing this really awesome bat cape that attaches on with elastics that she can look like she looks like she's flying away with. So that's pretty cool. And it is detachable. You can take it off if you want and take off her ears if you want. And then she also is wearing, I don't know if these are tights or if these are, okay, so these are not tights. These are um, long socks. These are socks, thigh-high socks, that are red and black striped. She also has shoes, so I'll show you these. They come separately, you got to put them on, that are red um, wedged, red wedged high tops that have a little bit a, of... Um, White detailing work on the eye hole eyelets and on the heel. They got the so they're red and white, and they have a slit in the back, so they show slip on pretty easily. I'm gonna try that for you. Okay, so her shoes are on now. Let's go over her articulation. Um, let's see. So her head, her head moves back and forth and up and down. So that's pretty cool. She has shoulder joints that move up and down and around. So she also has elbow joints. And then she also has, I think she has wrist joints. Yes. No. She doesn't have wrist joints. But um, her arms, her hands, do come out to a fan. So they're pretty detailed there. Um, and they're very squishy and pliable, if you can see that. So um, she does have, um, I think she has... Um, waist, a waist swivel. No, she doesn't have a waist joint, but she does have. Um, you can um, make her legs go up and down, and then I think they spread out. Uh, no, so they go up and down, and then she has knee joints that bend at the knee, and then she has ankle joints that twist. So you can do a lot of different movements with her. She's very impressive. I think 
I got her for, what, $12.99, I think? That's about her going price. She's worth every penny. She's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I like how different she is. I do like that Jazzwear tried their, tried their hand at um, articulated dolls. I would like to see more from them to see what else they got to offer. But um, for now, this does complete my Mavis collection. Um, just to pull back a little bit and I'll show you her. I love her. I adore these dolls. I think they're so gorgeous. So cute and so different. And they're they're excellently executed. Like the seams are beautiful. The fabric is great. It's double fabric on the wings as well. Um uh, yeah, she's not really missing anything. There's no corners cut at all with this doll. Um let me know what you think about um the Mavis doll collection um below. Have you gotten any of these dolls? Did you like them? Uh, are you in love with them like I am? I have a soft spot for them. If there was another one, oh, it would be in my collection. <laughs> I do wish that they made other dolls other than Mavis. That it would be nice to have her father or her fiancé slash husband now. Um, or even like with the little brothers. It would be cool if they did some dolls for them too. But I guess maybe they were just testing the water with these. Um, if you like this video, go ahead. Uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.